Welcome back to Diamond City. I believe we're going to spend most of our time here again because there are new things for us to see and people for us to talk to. But since we have just finished listening to the mayor give his final word on Piper's salacious paper, I'm really extra interested in visiting her to find out what her idea is for the story of the century. So I think that's gonna be our first goal, but it is pretty late at night, just after nine o'clock in the evening. You can even see the moon is up over there. So instead of dropping in on her at night, I would like to find a place where we can sleep and rest so that we can have that conversation in the morning. Ooh. Damn. Yeah, it is. Thank you. And protect his neighbor, the Raiders wouldn't stand a chance. Oh, don't worry. I'm willing to do enough of that for everybody, Preston. You're okay, sweetie. I got it covered. I'm going to take care of all of the Raiders. Maybe. Possibly. Going to try. I can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in a dugout in, and that's the bulls. Yeah, it's got to eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy hey, eats a at the new the theater district that's for Raiders only. The combat zone. Oh? I'd stay clear if I was you. Oh, really? The combat zone, huh? So where is that at? There. There it is. Ooh. Okay. Well, I did just basically declare war on them. Thanks for the tip, buddy. He must have been overhearing me. So here is an inn. The dugout inn. We can probably stay in here yeah that was good i'm sure everybody liked that one hey i am in middle story so then i am crossing river right wearing nothing but a smile when the out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters a mile a mile that's like two out of ten points of danger tops oh my goodness you want to talk something really deadly I forgot you were there, Yafin. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Oh my goodness. How have they maintained that I'm accent? The ghouls. Keep Ooh. your distance. Mindless eating machines. They'll always come straight for you. Okay. Hi, Hawthorne. You seem like a hey, tough customer. Hey, Hawthorne. If the paper's hey. telling the truth, what's your story? Where are you go, Mercenary, huh? you caravan guard. With all those oh. Out there? Neither. Wrong on both tries. Hmm. I can usually spot a higher gun on the first look. Maybe you just give off an armed and dangerous vibe. Oh, maybe. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just kicking back and sharing stories while I'm between things. I've been all over. Seen vaults, pre-war ruins, and plenty of monsters. Oh, really? Tell me about the vaults. You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? They're standoffish, but every once in a while, they'll let new people in. Oh. Wow, we got a map marker for that? Awesome! I do want to visit more vaults. Um. Okay, monsters. Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. You want to talk something really scary? It's the Institute in their sense. Hard don't agree. Don't go to University Point. Oh. Trust me. You don't want to know what they're capable of. Oh, buddy, I want to do it. Oh, I want to do that. What about the ruins? So you explore old ruins. Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town far to the north. Never made it, though. Got a bad feeling about that area. Ooh, okay. That one's already on our map, so I guess we don't get another map marker for Salem. Thank you, Hawthorne. See you around, Hawthorne. Later. I like him. He's cool. He's friendly. He's tough. He's been around. I, I like it. I like him. Let's talk to Vadim. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I kid, I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. Oh. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. Uh, okay. So, this is your bar? So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother, Yefim, and I make the best moonshine in that the entire commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. <laughs> start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> well, I am here to rent a room. Let's see what you've got. Good. Good. There it is. 
Bobrov's best moonshine, charisma, and strength. <laughs> and minus one intellect. We would lose our whole entire one intellect by drinking that. I think I would do want to buy one. Uh, should I get rid of some more stuff? I hear Travis talking about Sanctuary over there. And that has my attention. <laughs> Listen to him. I, I thought I thought they were kind of done for. <laughs> it sounds kind of crazy. Really and if it were real, it would be super dangerous. I doubt it. Oh, it's the Billy Holiday. Oh. Yeah. No sense anymore. Thank you, Vadim. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. Oh, I'm not bothering you. I just wanted to see if Travis was going to say anything else funny about Sanctuary and the Minutemen. All right, well. The wall's sure looking good lately. Guess Abbott found some more paint. Yeah, I, I did that. Did you like that? I actually have two more cans of paint I could give him. You have marvelous bone structure. Oh, thanks. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. Oh, really? Doctor. Even though I'm a doctor. I admit I have a small vice. A quick drink after work. That doesn't sound too bad. Honestly. There's another resident. And who can I talk to about renting a room? Because he did say he rents rooms. They don't even have a place in here for me to cook at. And this table with the candles is looking kind of ominous. Like, this is just kind of sketchy looking. This is. Okay. Well, hi. hi there. You can order drinks and food here or at the bar. Oh, okay. Um, who can give me a room? Who owns this bar anyway? The Bobrov brothers picked this place up a few years ago. Uh, Vadim Bobrov is the loud one. Yefim Bobrov is the quiet one. And I'm the one that has to listen to them argue with each other all day. Oh. Um, you seem friendly enough, but you really shouldn't wear that color lipstick with that kind of pink. Don't need anything today. Let me know if you change your mind. Yeah, that clashes. That's not good. Okay. Nice let's... pip boy. Oh, thank you. I like it too. Good to see returning customers. Most <laughs> <laughs> time. Uh, you let me know if you need a drink. Aw, thanks. I'm not really a returning customer. It's still my first time in here. Oh, a customer. Need a room? Uh, yes, actually. But can you tell me about the inn first? What's the story with this place? Not much to say. We sell food, drink, and rooms. Mainly for traders that come to the area. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waitress, and she helps me keep the rooms clean. As much as they can be. Okay. I would like a room. I'll take it. You're in room two, just through the door. Okay. Right there, just through the door. No, I am curious about the rest of the place. Let's have a look around before we go call it a night. Um, does this go behind the bar? I guess it does. Preston, are you just making yourself at home? Okay, buddy. I mean, you know, I guess it's both of our room. And there's room three. I don't want to barge in on anybody. Let's go into our room two. Come on in, Preston. I want to shut the door for sleeping times, and if I, you know, close it while you're out there, you're just probably going to open it. Come on in, bud. We can sit on the couch. Will that make you come in? Come on in, buddy. We can we can have a nice sit down. No, he's going in room three, isn't he? Preston, what are you doing? That's an invasion of privacy. But, you know, I was also curious. I just wasn't going to open the door myself. Oh, okay. Hello. A clean black suit. Okay, maybe nobody will notice if I just want to make a little trade. I mean, you know, just, just, just a little trade. Maybe they won't know that that has happened. <laughs> Don't hey, tell anyone. Oh, he hated that. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll put it back, actually. I will actually put it back. For realsies. Oh, dang. That's not what I meant to do. But it's mine, so it's okay for me to take it back. Man! How else am I supposed to get this thing laundered, Preston? 
Look, they have double the suits now. Do you forgive hey. me? What do you need? Forgiveness? Hi. What's on your mind? Do you hate me forever? How do you feel about us? I'll be honest. I'm still trying to figure you out. But I haven't given up on you, if that's what you're asking. I, I put the suit back. You know, it's okay. We're all good. That was it. All right. Okay. I mean, you're the one that entered this room, Preston. Jeez. Are you going to sit on another man's couch? So it's okay for you to defile some stranger's couch, but I can't swap a suit with them? That's just not right. That's not right. That's not right at all. Just a little bit of suit swapping. Nothing criminal going on. Nothing, nothing mean or criminal at all. <sighs> okay. How long do we want to sleep? I mean, you know, a good eight hours feels pretty solid. That should uh, make us feel a lot better after all we went through to get down here. And then we'll be refreshed and have all of our brain power available to talk to. Oh, you did close the door back behind you. Thank you, Preston. To talk to Piper. So. Have a nice day. Oh, thank you. I did, actually. It was pretty good. Um, okay, bye, guys. Bye, everyone in here. I'm sure you'll all miss me. I prefer to go to the me. dugout inn. Sure, I can afford the tap house, but the way those people stare at you. <laughs> it might be the goggles, sweetheart. Maybe you should take the goggles off. Oh, a bounty! <gasps> Are you kidding? Super mutants in Trinity Plaza. Open notice to anyone with a gun and some ambition. Super mutants have been spotted in the Trinity Plaza. These green-skinned monsters threaten us all. They may be frightening, but that just means the supplies you can take off their disgusting bodies will be all the sweeter. And if that isn't enough, think of all the poor people that they've butchered that you'll be avenging. Keep what you kill. No other reward can be given. <laughs> Why did it fall to the floor? Did I just slap it off the wall? Okay, well, I'll just take it. I'll, I'll just take that. I'm so happy I noticed that. That's really neat. Okay, yeah, we're totally gonna do that. Where is the Trinity Plaza? And you know, where's that vault we learned about for that matter? Well, that's obviously the vault. Is Trinity Plaza nearby? Ah, uh, no, that's all Diamond City stuff. Oh, here it is. Okay, it's next to the library, which means it's near the combat zone. And what about the... Oh, well, <laughs> I just scrolled over it. Yeah, so that's the university point, which really intrigues me. Okay, great. We have so much stuff to do. And I can't wait to get started on all of it. One thing at a time, though. For that new coat of green on the wall. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Thanks. You have marvelous bone structure. Wait. Stop what's... by the mega surgery sometime. What's going on over what's here? Going, what have you done with the real Riley? What? Where's my brother? Uh oh. I swear I'm not a simp. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Well, I mean, maybe Put don't shoot him. Now. He's a simp. He'll kill us all. Oh. Kyle, no. Gross. All over. Okay. Show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. It would be really ironic if he was a synth now because I'm assuming his brother and the mayor's just like, I ain't none of my business. I don't care about none of that. Mayor McDonough going this way. Not gonna think about this stuff going on in my city. That's what he's like. Okay, great. Uh... I'm gonna check the body for synth parts, just because that would be ironic. Nope. Nope, no synth parts. Is everyone just gonna stand here like this? Can I speak to the brother? Hey, sweetie. Hey. You pulled a gun on me. My own brother. I'm sorry. Can you tell me what happened? What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. See, so this is the downside of the paranoia, but it could still be warranted, and Riley could still be a synth if his brother, who is now deceased, was right. 
And we don't know why he would have thought that. It could have just been the paranoia, like I'm saying. Or it could have been based on something legitimate that he knows about his brother that the rest of us don't know. So I'm not really here to make a judgment on that. Uh, let's just... Let's just talk to Piper. And maybe repair the armor. Because that's going to need to be done pretty soon. So this is her office? Oh, hey! Yeah! Oh, blue? Because of the vault suit? Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing? You're a vault dweller. Oh, cute! So deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do oh. that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. <gasps> Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Oh, that is so sweet of you. That is so sweet. What do I have to do? What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? That sounds fine to me. Um, I'm not sure that I want to travel with you right away, though, because, I mean, I've got my buddy Preston here, but uh, I would definitely like to do that sometime. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Uh, I mean, we were, yeah, we were all frozen. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yeah. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? I mean, I was I was hoping it would it would be a little bit nicer than it is, honestly. Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? Oh, buddy, I'm so worried about this question. Oh, my goodness, I'm not sure I want to put his name out there. This is going to be published everywhere, right? A family member. I lost family, okay? I'm trying to get one of them back. What's their name, Blue? Who are they? Oh, she's pushing hard. I, I don't know that I should tell you that. Why do you care? This is news. No one else in Diamond City may care about the missing, but my paper does. I'm really concerned. But I don't want to say no one, which means I have to tell her that it's Sean. My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? I actually do! That's funny that you would say that. I don't really know, but I think they might be, yeah. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. And people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. Oh dear. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Can't believe people out here are ignoring the kidnappings. Oh, I'm so tempted to be like, get revenge. Oh yeah, that was my first thought. I was like, that, that guy, he's dead. Oh, this is tough. Yeah, get revenge. Find who's responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. 
I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Awesome. Thank you, Piper. Okay. Well, I guess Nat was technically really right when she said that we were very old because technically we're very old. That's right. I'm giving you credit. Hey, Nat. Read the paper, lady. Trust me. <laughs> okay. So are we going to get more copies of the paper later? Also, look how cute they are sitting together on the couch. That's adorable. Our buddies. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, this is her office. It looks like she's allowing us to take things from here if we would like to. Is that the printing press? Oh, <laughs> amazing. Okay. I want to read more stories from her. Hopefully, whenever she publishes that story about us, we'll be able to get a copy and read how she decided to make that appear. I am going to take her desk fan. After all these years. <laughs> um, I mean, it's it's your desk fan. I'm glad that it's in better shape than you expected, sweetheart. What else down here might I be able to use? Nothing from the fridge. Don't need those old papers. The oil can, the hammer, the duct tape, and the wrench. Okay, that should get us somewhere. I'll take the hot plate, too. Okay, come on, Preston. Let's get this armor fixed up. I want it to be in better condition in case I decide to go after those mutants in Trinity Plaza. So I will grab this. Oh, and run into it for a minute. That's, that's fine. I guess that's to be expected from trying to enter from the front. And there we go. Let's walk it over to the power armor station and give everybody in the whole place a big impression of how cool we are. Okay. Exit, please. There we go. Let's get this thing fixed up. Surely nobody will, you know, hop in it while I am in the process of fixing it. So the helmet needs steel. And that's, that's fine. We have that. The arm is in a really bad way. Ooh, the leg is about to break. So is the other arm. The leg's not too bad, but it's also not too good. And if we had some aluminum, we would be able to fix the chest piece. I think I might go find a piece of aluminum. So that we can fix that, which means I'm going to need to yoink out the fusion core, lest somebody steal this. And there we go. Aluminum, huh? Doesn't this have aluminum? <laughs> okay, let's go to Myrna. She has a big selection. I know, I know, I know. I'll take a look. Sure. Odds and ends. Okay, honey, what do you have that can give me my very precious aluminum, huh? Ooh. Wow, wow. It's very expensive, but look at all the stuff in the Giddy Up Buttercup. Okay. Specifically looking for one piece of aluminum. Come on, girl. Something with aluminum, please. Just one. Just one piece would be enough. No, nothing. Okay. I guess I will try talking to the noodle robot then. We haven't spoken to him yet. Uh, this is going to be enlightening. <laughs> and just say yes. It's all he understands. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, that's that's noodle cups. Thank you for that. I need not that. Okay. Maybe we won't be able to find. I think those Bobron brothers are looking for Oh, really? The brothers? Oh, okay. I bet I can probably get some aluminum in their place. As long as we don't let Preston know about it. <laughs> we 
Okay. Hello, brothers. You were looking for me? Oh, here we go. Quiet, if you. All right, you. Tell me. Yeah? Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? Makes wait. you want to cut your own ears off. <laughs> wait, what? Why do you need me for this? So, what's the issue? Have you not listened? This DJ Travis, he's terrible. Makes me want to go back in time and prevent radio from ever being invented. But Tim, <laughs> True. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. No. We need a new DJ for the radio. No. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. <laughs> no. I think he's cute. I mean, yeah, okay. I guess he's kind of terrible at being a radio host, but it's like endearing. It's pretty cute. Are you serious? Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. Oh, and what? that's enough. Oh my goodness. Him isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Then what's really going on? Okay, what's really going on here? Sorry, we was just joking around a bit. <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything and so he does. Really? He can still turn it around. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, him. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. This is Diamond City Radio, and I'm, uh, you know, you know Travis. Oh, I love him. Okay, yeah, this is yeah. going to be great. We are totally... Lewis, we're totally gonna help this little guy oh he's so precious and sweet I just want to give him a hug I just want to hug every Travis everyone okay what's up Vadim I'm here for okay. you let us get down to brass tacks okay I'm glad you are willing to help unlike my deadbeat brother <laughs> Travis is a good guy he deserves better life okay all right, I am happy to help you with this. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Yes. Believe he is capable of more. Yes. You know what works well for this? <laughs> a bar fight. Oh, no. Ever been in one? No, no, no. No, that's, 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 that's not the way to do this. What does that have to do with anything? I ask because I want you to help Travis win his first bar fight. Think you can do that? I want to stage fight here in Dugan. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Oh no, is he gonna fight me? This sounds like a disaster. That sounds like an absolute disaster. Now you sound like your theme. Come on, this will work. <laughs> oh, I get no. contacts, people I can count on. Real tough looking, but they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I'm going to do it, though. All right, I'm in. Ah, I knew I could count on you. I'm I not sure. <laughs> by six o'clock. Oh no. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. Oh jeez. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna get to meet Travis today after all. Golly, what time is it at the moment? Oh no. We only have like four hours. Okay. Um. Well, it looks like Preston wants to go in here. It says this is a restricted area, Preston. Why are you opening doors into restricted areas, bud? Does any of this contain aluminum? 
See, part of my problem is I I don't know what all items have all what in them. I haven't memorized the material composition of the junk items in Fallout 4 yet. I'm sorry, guys. I guess I'm I'm just inept or like falling behind or just a disgrace Everyone or something. But we have plenty of other drinks if you're feeling brave. Yeah, I did take that one other drink, but I mean, I'm not sure when to drink drinks. it. The finest liquor moonshiners can brew right here. Okay, can you sell me something with aluminum? Sure. Let's take a look. Not to bias you, but everything's delicious. <laughs> I like these guys. They're funny. I'm not sold on his idea working, but I mean, I'm kind of here for it, to be honest. And he doesn't even have any junk items, so that's not working for me, but... I guess we've got four hours to scavenger hunt around the place. We can't steal anything, though, because Preston will lose his absolute entire mind. And I don't want that to happen. Oh, hey, it's well, you. What's up, Sussy? Look, scavenger, I'm not I talking to you. Anything. I'm talking to Sussy. Oh, well. Okay, hi, hey, Polly. Yeah? Plenty of Brahmin meat on the hooks. Oh, really? Brahmin meat, huh? Wait. What kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads. They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes they get weird stuff from the caravans, too. What kind of weird stuff? Weird stuff? Weirder than two headed cow meat? <laughs> yeah, princess. Weirder than that. Mirelurk, bloat flies, rad stags. It's all protein, right? Ain't like you can be picky in the Commonwealth. I guess that's true. Let's see what you have. As fresh as it can be. I really wish Polly had a cooking station. You know? I mean, really. Okay. Maybe later. Can I go in your house? No. There's seriously nowhere to cook here. Want to do something fun? Run the bases. Trust me. Oh. Okay. Run the bases. Oh. Everyone who's I have noticed them around. So this is home plate. Which means we need to go that way. And then all the way back around. Is he being real? Are we going to unlock a secret if we run the bases? This is probably dumb. I'm doing it though. Let's run the bases. Zoom, 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 zoom. There's first base. Hope you didn't run into any trouble. Get <laughs> There's second base. Zoom, 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 zoom. There's third base. And I really feel like we're super fast. I did it. I ran the bases. I feel like all the animations are fast right now. What's happened? You've been to Good Neighbor? Yeah. Big and whole. Ghouls and chemheads all over. Oh. Okay, well, I zoomed the bases, so. Yeah, I guess I guess that was fun. I guess that passes for fun these days. <laughs> well, hello, beautiful. Oh, thank you! Hi, handsome! How you doing? I love the baseball bat. Very classy. The latest hairstyle! Well, I'm going to give up on the aluminum for now, and I think I'm just going to hop back in this. I'm not sure why everything is going so fast at the moment. I promise I didn't do anything. And, you know, editing room May isn't doing anything, so I, I don't know what that is about. We feel nice and slow again in our big armor, though, so that's good. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I guess we gotta hang out until 6 o'clock. I probably shouldn't have put this back on because I feel like we should not show up in this. I mean, I could park it in the inn, couldn't I? You're still a human being under all that armor? Oh, yeah, I am. Do you want to see? Ta-da! Human is the day I was born. And back inside. He probably didn't find that as impressive as I hoped he would, but 
I'm a little bit of a show off sometimes. <laughs> okay, back into the inn. And I guess we're still in possession of room number two. I could park it out here to be intimidating, but this is supposed to be Travis's big fight. Oh, don't worry, I won't. I tend not to, to do that. All right, there we go. It's in our room. I will take out the core. And then we can hang out. I do like that if you want to wait, you can you can sit somewhere. That's such a nice detail. That's a very nice touch. So it's about four. Oh, buddy. We'll give it two hours. And then we can meet Travis. And it'll be a whole thing. Oh, dear. Preston, are you ready for the whole thing, bud? I'm not sure I am to be, to be real with you, but... Uh, I am going to try to play the part. So, if we're going to look the part, we're going to put on some of those armor pieces that I was meaning to use. And I think it's time. I think it's time that we switch to a new favorite weapon. That looks so mean. I appreciate that. Though I guess we shouldn't have this equipped, right? We should not have that equipped for a bar fight, probably. <laughs> we should be punchy, so. Okay. Lost. Travis, is that him? Room two. I, I, I'm not lost. It's okay. I'm, I'm here to help your brother with his plan that's definitely not going to work, but I'm here to try because I feel like Travis is a good guy. I love him. Oh, not so tough once you're not on the air. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. I'm just. I'm. I'm only here for a drink. Maybe I don't like your little radio program. What you have to say about that? Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you just leave me alone, Travis? Oh, Travis, wrong. buddy. Not so tough once you're not on the air. Hey, hey man. Pal. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it's you. You don't know me yet. Is everything okay? Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Because... No. It is not. <laughs> I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I love him. I wish they'd go away. Oh, I love him. Let's do something. Let's do something about this then. No, no, I... I that might end badly. With these men, it could... Well, it, it could... It could turn violent. I'll protect you, you precious little thing. You will be fine. I got your back. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... Okay, that's... Well, that's enough. Yeah, Travis. I, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said that's enough. Leave me alone. You tell him, buddy. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Uh, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone! Yeah! Like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? Say it, Travis! I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? I'll, I'll beat you up! Yeah! Mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. No, you ain't. Oh dear. Yeah. Check me out, blocking. Travis has to do most of the work, right? Yeah, punch him. I'll get the giggle friend. Ha ha, yeah. Me and me and ha ha, yeah, over here. Let's use a bit of that just because I am not super sold on my ability not to punch my best friend. So. Yes, I know. We've only just met. We are besties. Okay, bull is down. What about giggle friend? Oh, giggle friend just goes with the flow, I guess. Okay, cool. Glad that's over. Travis, nice job. Travis, why am I doing this? I don't know. I mean, I... good job. Are we done? Hey. Beat it, lady. I mean, I did. I, I beat you. <laughs> Um. Did that succeed? Ah, yes. You 
famous bobber of liquor on tap all day. Okay, uh, was this a success? Hey, man, you look like you bled a lot more than I thought you might. Oh, uh, um, oh, hi. There. Hi. Hey, Travis. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. We did it. Yeah. That fight was almost as awkward as, as you are. How do you feel? How do you feel now, huh? I don't know. I mean, wow, I just... Wow! <laughs> I never thought I could do... W uh, anything like that! That was crazy! <laughs> hey, listen, I, uh... Thanks. That was, well, that was really something. I think maybe I should go lie down now. Okay, go lay down now. Go lay down all you want to. Vadim, I did it! <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for the next part of full proof plan? Oh dang, there's a part two. Is it another fight? It's not more fighting, is it? No, no. This part is simple. <clears throat> you have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her. Oh. I see that sometimes she looks at him. Oh. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Okay. Uh, sure. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? All right. Yes, we never talked about this for sure. I do want to talk with her about her lipstick choices anyway, so maybe that'll Whatever be the door ask, opener for me. About it. Oh, you're fine. I'm not even trying to talk to you. Scarlet, where are you at the moment, sweetheart? I guess she could be cleaning up if you don't live the back here, rooms. You ain't nobody. Got it? Yeah, that's fine. Have a nice day. I'm content being nobody. No, she doesn't seem to be cleaning back here anywhere let's try opening this door yeah that just goes back out to here well we can try the restricted area what is that like the employee lounge sort of space scarlet no is she off work at the moment let's track this quest and see if that can help me find her where is it under miscellaneous probably no Oh, yes. Confidence, man. Where is she? She's outside? Oh. Okay. What is she doing out there? Scarlet! Where are you, sweet girl? Even though I'm a doctor, I admit I have a small vice. As you have I'll said. Drink after work. As you have said. Could she be at the noodle stand? City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him like I do. There's people running. Kids, I think. Okay. Maybe I should turn off these, but I don't want to do that. Let's look on the local map. Is she at her house? Like, did she go home? I guess she could have. But it's it's evening time. And she's a waitress. She should be at the bar right now. Yeah. Scarlet, where do you hang out? Do you help with the crops? No, you're just hanging out over here? Hey, what's up? Miss? I'm on a break right now. Oh, is that what's going on? Okay. Can I ask you something personal? It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Ooh. I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. This is sweet. This is so sweet. Let's be evasive. Maybe. Why don't you go ask him? Well, I don't know. Oh, come on, girl. I definitely noticed him. Maybe... No, no, I couldn't just go over there. 
Girl, get some nerve. Get some nerve. Wait, okay. Hang on. This is apparently a thing. You can just back out of conversation. I had no idea. I probably never would have noticed that if someone didn't tell me. Oh, that's right. I gave away my dirty suit. <gasps> okay. Um, that's all right. We bought the moonshine. Yeah, give me the moonshine. I could use one of those myself. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I'll buy you one next time. Scarlet, baby. Hey, I'm on a break right now. Travis. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Yes. Did he, did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was, well, he was brave. Does she have short-term memory problems? Maybe. Why don't you go ask him? Well, I don't know. I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Preston's circling because he's got deja vu. What are you so nervous about? What's the worst that could happen? Believe me, I can think of some pretty horrible things. Look, I'm just not ready for that. You should be ready for it. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. Yes! I'll go see him now. Thanks. Awesome! Let's totally scope their, um, well, it's not a date. Interaction? Yes, let us scope their awkward interaction. Lipstick girl plus confidence guy. Perfect. Coupling. Excellent. The, the best possible ever couple. Yes, I'm sure. Come on, girl, hurry up. I want to see what happens. I want to know if this goes well. Because I'm, I'm a little bit worried about our little, little buddy old guy, you know? Even though I just met him. He just seems like a sweet fella. I want things to work out for him. And these plans are pretty wacky, but... You know, I think it's worth giving it a shot. And now Scarlet thinks that too. So let's totally just follow her in here <laughs> and completely eavesdrop. What could go wrong? Radio station? Um, well, uh, <laughs> well uh, you'll notice there aren't any other ones. So... Uh. How did he get into this line of work, I wonder? Is she gonna talk to him? Am I in the way? Do I need to sneak? Hang on. Uh. Stealth. Go talk to him, Scarlet. I'm not here, buddy. Please go talk to him. I wanna know what happens. Man, am I not supposed to be in here? Am I not gonna find out how it goes? I just want them to have a cute talk and be like, yeah, I like you. Oh yeah, you're cool too. Let's go get noodles sometime. Go on, Scarlet, ask him for noodles. I'm sad. This is not what I wanted. Please talk to him. Don't, hey, Travis. Uh, don't, don't break my stuff if you, uh, if you, don't, if you don't mind. I'm not going to. You. Hey. Hi. I, I don't, I don't, uh... I usually don't. <sighs> this is why. This is why. Poor fella. Scarlet. Excuse me. I'm on a break right now. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine. I guess we don't get to know what happens. Okay. That's fine. Let's go back to Vadim. Wow. You're tall. Oh, thank, thank you! No one ever tells me that! Pete! Petey! Pete, Pete! Pete. Hello. Hey there, lady. Do I get to actually talk to Pete at all? I don't. That's fine. He can just keep running around and having a good time. He's a child. That's what they do. Let's go back and tell Vadim that the funny business is done. I'm literally just doing funny business at the moment. It's hilarious to me that the guard would say that. Vadim! Ever been up in the stands? Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. This is or terrible. Or your fame? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. 
He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. Wait, what's wrong? I can't do it. You've got to help me. Oh no, what's wrong? What happened? What are you talking about? I am talking about Vadim. They took him. Who? Those men, the, the ones that messed with Travis, they came back, said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. I would pay them for pay, him. And then they grabbed them and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. Oh, Vadim. Do something. Please tell me you can do something. I will handle this. I will bring him back. I'll bring him back, Yefim. Count on it. Please just bring him back. He's an idiot, but my brother. I'd go with you, but someone has to stay here. Talk to Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. Why would Travis know that? And now Travis is going to know about the whole plan. Oh, no. This is terrible. Oh, I just knew it was going to go wrong, but I didn't know it was going to go wrong like this. This is even worse somehow. Dang it. Well, okay, guys. I hate to do this to you, but I'm going to have to leave it off on a cliffhanger. So come back next time to find out what happens with Travis and Vadim. I love you very much, and I'll see you again very soon.